Nutritional supplements and herbs are usually safer than pharmaceutical drugs, but they can also have their problems. Now, doctors need to be familiar with nutritional supplements when they're prescribing medications to prevent unwanted results. Well, the problem is, is we don't get training in that. We get about an hour of nutrition in our training, and that's supposed to somehow put us in a position to do this. Medicine is becoming very complicated because it's becoming integrative. Well, it's also a lot to ask because the doctor has to know all the actions and side effects of the medications, and now we're asking them to learn the same thing about the nutritional supplements. Well, think of how complex the internal biochemistry of the body is. You start putting more than one drug in or more than one herb in, what happens in that interreaction inside the body remains a mystery most of the time. But at least in this one study that was done in the journal Complementary Alternative Medicine, uh, in the year in, in this year, 2014, we've got some things to think about. Yeah, there was this new study that was uh, recently published on St. John's wort. So we're going to be talking about how St. John's wort can interact with a variety of medications and as a result, diminish their effectiveness. Now, a problem with many supplements is that there aren't labeling requirements. So it's important to learn these things if you want to take any kind of a pill, whether it's alternative or pharmaceutical. Absolutely. I and mean, when we look at the kinds of things that we get into with St. John's wort, I mean, we're talking about things like interfering with birth control pills and with anticoagulants and chemotherapy and antihypertensives. And what happens is that the St. John's wort induces enzymes for detoxification in the liver. And that and when it does that, it speeds up the detoxification of these drugs I just mentioned. And when it does that, they clear faster, their peak values are lower, and you all of a sudden don't get the effect that you thought you were getting from the drugs. Well, on the other hand, if you're not taking these particular drugs, mm -hmm. I mean, St. John's wort probably has fewer side effects and complications than if a person were taking antidepressants. That's probably true, too. I think that it's easy to get really focused on things like supplements interfering with medications, but let's look at the reality of things, too. How many deaths are there every year from supplements and herbs and vitamins? Something like maybe 50. That's what's reported. And how many deaths are there from medications? You look now at hundreds of thousands. Mm -hmm. It's a whole different story. So we really should be looking at our own kitchen first as doctors and making sure that we got things all worked out. Because when you have this kind of a problem and you don't really know what the interactions are of the drugs that we're using, what happens when you put four or five or six drugs together? Have studies been done to look at what happens with detoxification there? Not very much. So what we're doing is we're really being a little bit unfair. And picking to the herbal, on the alternative. Exactly, which is because there's a turf war between p the alternative medicine people, the people who do integrated medicine, and people in the mainstream. So let's talk about some of the things that um, St. John's Wort treats, like insomnia, for example, sure. and anxiety. It's and great for depression. PMS. It can be used to manage pain. Uh, it's a great antimicrobial act uh, uh, action that it has. There are a lot of things that it does that are useful that we, sh that we use that are a lot safer than we, without what we use in regular medicine. Yes, when you were saying anti, uh, it can be anti-inflammatory. It could even be used for skin conditions mm -hmm. and, and earaches. And it's got a wide range. Of, we don't want to throw things like that out. And what we need is is an advancement in how we do things in medicine today. And because the doctors have really control of most of the turf, then everything is centered around them. And while there is real value in what we do in medicine, you'd never want to throw the baby out with the bathwater, there's also this integrative approach that makes a lot of sense, too, that helps us to look at things from many different perspectives and then build synergies from the different disciplines by using them appropriately. But many times people get overconfident with supplements. They, they just figure that they're safe because mm -hmm. we know that they are safer than taking you know, mainstream medicine and pharmaceutical drugs. Oh, for sure. And so they get overconfident with it. But I think that people need to be aware that there there are possible side effects, although there might not be as many. But, like, mm -hmm. w what would be some of the side effects with St. John's Word? I know you can get things like erectile dysfunction and headaches okay, and Okay, you can photosensitivity. Photosensi photo there are a lot of things that can be serious that way. I think what this whole uh, talk that we're having is about is that the internal biochemistry of the body is very complicated. And when you throw something in there that changes that, 
There are tens of thousands of reactions occurring every millisecond that change what happens. What we should be focusing on rather than drugs and herbs and supplements and vitamins is lifestyle medicine. A happy, healthy lifestyle. Yeah. So if you and want including in that laughing. Like all and these things. It's diet, exercise, stress reduction, sleep, weight, avoiding environmental toxins, and finding joy in life. And maybe throwing in, if you're depressed, throwing in some prayer and some meditation and, and, and uh, maybe get some counseling and right. being with friends. Sure. A lot of non-aggressive approaches that are safe that we should be looking towards in this particular time that we live because we've got a real problem with health care today. 50% of us have a chronic disease. Uh, we have a problem with the cost of health care because we can't afford it any longer. And we also have a problem with its safety. And that goes, uh, that goes along across the board, whether it be drugs or, or, it use, or we're using technologies or we're using herbs and supplements. So pay attention to the style in which you live your life. Live a, happy, uh, a healthy lifestyle. And chances are you won't have to wrestle with some of the problems that we just raised. 